for Broadlands Road area wide treatment. <coughs> Your Worship, I have a um, report here for the area wide treatment um, tender on Broadlands Road. Um, I will take the report as read and ask for any questions. Any questions of Mr. Lewis? Uh, Councillor Park? Um, as always, I'm going to ask you if there was weighted consideration given to the local firms that tendered. The tender was the lowest price conforming, which sets out the criteria. Um, tenders are required to submit non price attributes and then um, evaluate it on price. So that's a yes? That's uh, not specifically. It has to conform with NZT and the rules and regulations. Yes. Yeah, we can't apply discretion in that respect. So, yeah. so effectively, Mr Chairman, it was the lowest tender was accepted. Yes, that's correct. Mm. Um, just, just following up on Council Park, the, the difficulty. Give us a difficulty. What's the story with local tender? Say, the local tender was ten grand away or something like that. There's no way that you can favour the local tenderer. Currently, council doesn't have any policy that gives direction on what might con constitute a local tenderer and by how much you would want to provide some sort of cushioning or buffer. Is that possible in the future, or is that not a track that we tend to go down? Perhaps Mr Fox might like to talk about the procurement policy that went before the um, Audit and Risk Committee. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Chairman. Um, we'll be bringing a procurement policy, the revised procurement policy, uh, to the next <coughs> council meeting. Um, this relates to that whole issue of um, what it talks about in part this issue of uh, renegotiating with, with tenders. Uh, you may recall that was the matter before. Um, I think that in terms of uh, the discussion we're having here, I'm not sure Dennis will be actually gone to that extent in terms of that discussion. So it's something that may be raised at that meeting. We talked about the policy. So if anyone's getting particular queries and questions from local contractors missing out on local jobs, you know, possibly we have the we have a uh, opportunity going forward uh, to uh, discuss these matters. And Dennis has quite rightly highlighted the issue as actually determining what is local. Mm. Exactly. Councillor Harvey. So just to clarify, are you saying at the moment we cannot do that? We are not able to legally do that? You're required to comply with the request for tender, whatever's in that request for tender. Currently within the request for tenders that we are currently issuing for Council, there is no provision for considering um, a local tenderer and making provision or an allowance for them because we don't have anything as a council policy. So we could change the policy? That's, yeah, coming going forward we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Fox has offered that. That's the discussion obviously you will have when you have the new policy draft before you. Again, My question was to going to be the same as... And again, through 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 the chair, I mean, you, you're, you're at liberty to do that uh, through, your, through your own sort of channels. Um, the issue would be where you don't apply a lowest conforming acceptance, uh, you would risk New Zealand Transport Agency funding. Mm -hmm. um, and that might not just be the funding portion of the difference. It could be that they would object strongly to your policy and therefore um, uh, back out of a significant portion of funding. So that, you know, have that discussion by all means, but just be aware that it could have a significant effect on your New Zealand Transport Agency funding. So they pay for how much of this, Mr. Lewis? Uh, Roughly 50% for the area wide. Uh, I'll move the suggested, uh, recommended uh, resolution. Can I just have one? Sorry. Yep, just, just okay. Yes, so Councillor Jollins. Just, just, just to Mr. Lewis, the annual um, planned budget for 14 15 has about 1.9 million set aside for transport renewals. This expenditure is roughly 400,000. Um, is it a priority? And I'm just wondering what other demands we have on the renew renewables um, so early in the show. Yep. Yes, this is a priority. It is plan works. Essentially, the rehabilitation or renewals of pavements, you're either putting on a reseal or where the road is that deformed that a reseal is not the, the, the least whole of life's cost option, then you're looking at rehabilitating. So this is a priority yes. Yes. Thank you.
Just a question to Ms. Lewis while we're on the subject. Um, obviously a well-known civil contracting firm owned by councils um, in the Hawke's Bay has recently gone to receivership. <coughs> I presume we're well covered in, in uh, any tenders that we go forward as far as civil contract is concerned as if a, a firm does tip over? Yes. Yep. So someone else picks up the work and carries on or you pay them to a certain... Yep. There are mechanisms in place should that occur. Yep. Great. Thank you. Councilor just run off on Councillor Jolin's comments, and I want to get the figures. Mr Lewis has mentioned, is it a 53% subsidy? I said it was about 50%, yeah, yeah. So effectively the figure that this has been accepted for tender, is that 50% of that that we pay? Correct, yes. So, we're so effectively, when, when we look at our books, that'll be half as the cost of that 1.9. Mm -hmm. Yes. We handle the tender, handle the job. Mm -hmm. However, it's, it's slightly, slightly different to that because we would we would show the complete expenditure in our books because we then receive the rebate from NZTA at a different time. Yeah. It's been uh, moved here by <coughs> Councillor Park. Uh, could I have a second to Councillor Jollins? Thank you very much. Okay, the suggested resolution there that uh, we award Inframax Construction Limited of Tikwidi. Uh, Go ahead with that job. So, uh, be moved and second. All those in favour, please say aye. Uh, those against, carry. Item number five. Oh, oh sorry. Mm. Again. Mm. Your Worship, I have here a report for acceptance of a tender um, for a section of Wirata Road um, for the seal extension. It's about 1.8, 1.9 kilometres. Um, I'll take the report as read and answer any questions. Yeah, my question is, um, if there was budget left over, we were looking at doing another road at Matia, right? Yes. Um, but I just note um, that still there will still be a remaining part of Wedita Road that's not sealed. And is there a reason why you wouldn't just continue to seal that road? Uh, <laughs> We're using the, the matrix to determine priorities and also trying to move some of the funding around a little bit so that you don't concentrate all of the funding um, in the one spot. Um, for example, sorry, where to road, uh, not where to road, Nartia Road has got quite a long length and so you could end up spending five or six years doing where to road to the exclusion of anything else when there would be other roads that have equal merit. So we do tend to move them around a bit, um, to treat any economical lengths. Thank you very much. Uh, Councillor Krasowski. A very quick question. To what width will that road be sealed? Like a width. <laughs> One metre carriageway. I would need to confirm. I think it's six metres. I think it's six metres, but I would need to check the, the plans just to confirm that. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a very quick um, yep. a brain calculation as to the cost per kilometre. Yep. I can, I'm happy, happy to provide that information that will confirm that. That's a body. Can just raise the question of four bar two. It's the same company, which is interesting. Both lower ends of the whole lot from the two contracts. It states that the... Uh, Price will be three one six four six zero, but at the bottom of page four bar two, it states the financial impact of the proposal is estimated to be. Now it can't be estimated if it's a tender. The tender is for three four zero one one six. Um, the financial impact is um, strip or three zero. So three through three one six three one six. Yeah, the tender, the engineer's estimate was four, uh, three four zero. Um, the tender price was three one six four six zero and fifty seven cents. Um, the financial impact is three one six four sixty. So it, we've just omitted the fifty seven cents. Just used the word estimated for yep. the tender. <coughs> Um, if I might add there, that would include a small contingency sum that is only spent where necessary, so it potentially could come in under that price. 
That's right, just bearing in mind that the tenders are based on a schedule of uh, unit rates uh, for, for certain quantities. So those quantities will vary as the, as the contract is undertaken. Uh, so the final price is an estimate. Um, it's not a fixed price uh, quote. It's a quote based on a schedule of quantities that are provided at the time of tender to give the, the client an understanding of how much it is very likely to cost. So it's always an estimate until the works are actually physically completed uh, and the onus is on the uh, client and the supervisor acting for the client to make sure that we don't overspend on that particular tender. So obviously if there's any too, too many discrepancies, it would come back to here too. <coughs> Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, Mr. Chair, I just had one last question for Mr. Yeah. Lewis. Um, if this contract gets awarded to this company, it'll be the second contract to be awarded. Are you confident that they have the capacity to do tenders at this time? Are they doing them at similar times for works or are they at different times? I just want to make sure that, that we're confident that you're not giving them too much work. Um, no, we're not giving them too much work. We haven't entered to any discussions at this point how they might do those two because we're waiting, wanting to wait to hear what the outcome of the meeting is today. Um, it is not, neither project is time critical, so there is the opportunity to either do them um, together or one after the other. Okay, I just yep. want to thank the team. Yep. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lewis. Any other questions or queries of Mr. Lewis? All right, suggested resolution that. Uh, to road seal extension be awarded to Inframax as well. I'll move. Uh, moved by Councillor Body, seconded by Councillor Hickman. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those aye. against? Carry. Item number five Turingi Town Centre upgrade, stage three. Mr. Andrew Bowden. <coughs> Councillor so Hickling has asked for a, a quick overview of what the scope of the work is for the project. And he's beating us at the moment, but it's getting back. This going to So we've got Andrew Bowden and Fraser Scott, uh, architects. Here's one just giving an overview of the, of the scope of work. Can we get it on this screen? Do you know? yeah. we're getting old, we can't read some of the time. <laughs> Afternoon, Fraser. Afternoon. Uh, this is the third phase of the two, uh, two ring of modernisation project, and it focuses on two areas. <laughs> um, it'll be uh, it's the front area by the pie shop and the, and the northern area, area of the mall <coughs> in front of the library. Um, essentially, it's like an area more pleasant to be in. And we, this is the northern end of the mall in front of the library. Uh, three key changes will be. A new decking area around the sister city tree, which is just a bit more than the most likely to be familiar with that. And we'll put a pergola over the top of that, and that will be <coughs> the, the community events. Um, the next addition will be these raised lawn, er lawn areas with seats around the outside and shade trees to the side. It will be a small area to the south of that, along in this back corner.
And then the other area is in front of the pie shop. By the way, that is a challenge. Uh, and then it's, it's that area there. The major change we're doing there is taking out one of those trees. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the very, 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 very Is that being pruned? Is that being pruned? Reface that area. Um, and this is happening at the back of the wall to uh, reface the raised areas with um, uh, timber. Basically, we're going to use a stain on that. And the idea there is to, to link back to the rainbow trail colours. The timber will be a hardwood. Uh, it was Tonka for the deck at the north of the wall, and we're using Massa for the seats. Uh, we'll join the two areas. So that is in the and it's the two raised areas, we'll join those together, a, sh a short ball walk in between, uh, to replace the river and we'll use the river stone and that. Uh, That area of the front is quite drab at the moment, so the intention is to improve it so people can stop there and sit. There's, there's some seating there at the moment which is pretty average, to the least, and uh, it's to uh, encourage people to stop there and then perhaps even go down the mall to do some shopping. Yeah, there are all the people. <laughs> Where's the road? Oh, no. <coughs> Sorry, no, no. Right. It's never a right. <laughs> it was never a right. Well, the report is as read. Uh, we've been able to tender <coughs> four contractors. Um, we have two tenders back, one down and um, Higgins. Higgins is the lowest tenders. Uh, we're going to be above the engineer's estimate. We made a chat with um, Higgins, took a couple of provisional sums out. Which were for um, irrigation, and we found we didn't need that. And hence the price has come now to the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, engineer's estimate. Um, okay, thanks, Andrew, and thanks, Fraser. Uh, Councillor Krasnowski. Thank you. Yes, um, just a couple of questions. Um, when would you be contemplating of starting it, and when would you be? Contemplating of having it completed. I would anticipate that we will start it in two weeks' time from now. I'm finishing it by the end of the day. Thank you. Mm, that's that's so, Andrew, does this contract include just the hard landscaping because these are construction companies, or does it include? All the planting, all the grassing, all the hard um, surfaces. The, this contract includes preparation for landscaping, all the hard landscaping, construction, and uh, our staff in Turangi will supply and install the plants. And outside this contract, we are purchasing timber materials to keep the cost down so we don't have to pay the contractor's market. From established suppliers who would need this work. An example of one of the streetscape in town who provided all the uh, seating for and the timber fences for the huge street that at that time was an older and stuff. So uh, we have a place contract for that. At the rear of the mall, the north end, um, We've got some lighting and a power box in there, similar to what we put in Uber Street, for three phase and single phase power. And that's been done by a contractor, separate electrical, who we've also used and done work for it before. So there are other smaller supply and supply and install contracts outside this one. And all that um, materials and the, the lighting and power will be coordinated. Yeah. 
I uh, see in, uh, <coughs> in the annual plan there was a total of 438,000. So all that, all that, that was between this amount yeah. and that amount, council, would be the secure supply contract and the power. So it'll all come under uh, 438,000. I'm exactly on. <laughs> it will. Okay. There's, there's well, a and what about the contingency of 30,000? That's still within that amount. You've got your assurance. So it's 438, including the 30. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we've provided, as this is the last stage <coughs> of the three. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's why I'm asking the question. And as Australians, yeah. that uh, that's all right. That's all right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you, Andrew. Uh, just with a team of clarification, obviously it's a diplomatic way of negotiating with them, of, of, for good reasons. Uh, is, is the same team of clarification given to the presumably to the other, um, the other tenderers, or are they just too far out? Or too you far out. Which indicates two, either one or two things, either um, they're very busy or they don't want to. Yeah, but it could be off some of those things you've negotiated, it could be disproportionately higher than the other contractor, yeah, not necessarily. No. Most yeah. of them were provisional sums, councillor, that I put into the project. Okay. So they'd be the same across the board, even if they were four <coughs> tenders who put submissions in, it would be the same amount. Okay, thank so you. They're, they're items that are specific for people to do that. That's clear for today. Thank you, Mr. Cousins. And on behalf of Tradies and Tradies, they speak very highly of you, Andrew. But you won't get out when you can, so that's really appreciated. Well, we're trying to. Uh, we're also trying to use um, local uh, contractors as well. So I, I know that um, while Higgins have put some prices in themselves for certain elements of the work, um, should they be appointed? They'll start to negotiate with local contractors, one of which puts on the scale part. Mr. Stewart. I'd like to move the suggested resolution. Cool. Just a question, um, Andrew. Um, the retailers, obviously, the retailers involved, they've been fully informed as to what the construction period will be. The you know the inconvenience that they'll probably notice for a while. Uh, we have some history in this area where you know retailers are. You know, you've got to keep them sort of happy and informed of what's happening. Yeah, I work with retailers. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to mention that, Street, but yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it worked well. Hopefully, uh, yep. figures are appointed today. We'll get to letter of intent today. Um, I will go, <coughs> excuse me, to two Rangi next week. And I'll walk along, not just along where the work's been carried out, but probably well into the shopping mall as well, so people know what's happening. And what we've done in the past is we've had a weekly update from the contractor, and we did it with stage one, with Higgins, with the key on the road. So every say, Thursday morning or whatever, I go down, I hand these out, tell them what's happening during the course of that week, right. so that they're, they're afraid. And the people who are mostly affected in Turangi is the takeaway on the corner, the dentist upstairs, the memory trust, the pie shop, Wins probably ANZ Bank on the corner, one or two others down the other end as well. So we'll, it's a similar process to what we do in Houston. I don't think these people will be as effective as Houston, but they'll be noise, there'll be work going on, uh, there'll be health and safety issues that we need to monitor. So we'll do that. Uh, right. On that. I'll be down there twice a week, minimum. And Fraser, thank you once again for your. You know, outstanding work here, and uh, I know you've guaranteed the doubling of the foot traffic in that particular area. <laughs> here, he's hoping anyway. He's hoping it does the trick. So, yeah. All right, it's been moved by Councillor Stewart, and and seconded. seconded by Councillor Cousins. Thank you very much. Uh, that uh, Higgins con contractors be awarded the contract for to Ringy Town Centre upgrade. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. Those against. Gary, thank you. Thank you.